All right, silly question. When you get stuff delivered to your house, like this stuff right here, that you didn't order, you didn't buy, <laughs> what should you do with it? Should you keep it? Should you open it up, try it on, see if it fits? Or should you try to return it back to the uh, e-commerce uh, company that probably shipped it to you? I'm going to let you guys know what I ended up doing with this stuff right here. All right, everybody, Andre, Andre Reese.biz. All right, guys, as I mentioned, I got these uh, packages right here next to me. They got delivered to my house. And so um, I guess the dilemma is, let's kind of just kind of rewind back. I'm an e-commerce seller like you guys are, and I try to be as accurate as I can with shipping packages, making sure they get to the clients. If they're high value items, I try to insure them. Because, you know, there's always a variable of the post office losing your stuff or whatever. And, you know, uh, when you're a small guy like me, you can't necessarily afford to make a lot of, you know, big, you know, financial mistakes when it comes to, you know, selling your wares and goods on uh, online. But I'll tell you, any of these large guys like The Gap or like uh, Amazon, these guys ship out packages all over the world. And a lot of them don't end up in the destination where they're supposed to. So what happened is uh, I rarely ever get stuff shipped to the place that I live. And uh, I came home one day and sure enough, one day this was there, the next day this other package was there. Both of these items here came from the Gap. I didn't order them. And so I think the lady that previously lived in the place where I am right now um, ordered them. And for whatever reason, she didn't update her address. So I was kind of trying to do the right thing. And, and let me just say this. I remember when I was a little kid, they used to run these ads on TV all the time. This is like back in the 70s and 80s, that if you ever receive anything in the mail that you didn't order that was addressed to you, you can keep it. Well, this was a, sent to my house, but it wasn't addressed to me. So I guess I probably shouldn't keep it and probably wouldn't keep it. And in this commercial, it actually had this guy that was um, up in Alaska that was uh, native to the land. And uh, he received a refrigerator or an ice maker. And so it, it was something completely inappropriate for his environment. But because it was addressed to him, he was able to keep those kind of what the example was. And so, like I said, I got this stuff here from Old Navy. And what I tried to do is I actually tried to look up the lady online. I did a search for her name and found her on Facebook. I sent her a message. And I also found her on um, LinkedIn. And this was probably about a month ago. And... Both of her profiles had minimal usage, you know, so what I ended up doing was I just sent her a message, kind of sat back and waited a little bit. Nothing came in on Facebook, then I turned around and did the one on LinkedIn. Still didn't hear anything from her at all. So I've been kind of like sitting on this stuff, you know, probably like I said, for about a month now. And so now we're getting close to the end of the holiday season and I want the stuff out of my house, <laughs> you know. So I'm over here right now at, uh, like I said, the stuff is from Old Navy. I'm over here at Old Navy here in uh, Brentwood. And I'm gonna go ahead and just take the stuff back into the store and give it to the cashier. I've already taken a couple pictures of the labels that are on here. Then I'll take a picture probably of myself giving the stuff to the cashier and just to have proof that I actually uh, dropped it off. There is a number that's on the packages, but uh, they, they print them at such high speed that part of the number got cut off. So what I would probably recommend to anybody that is an e-commerce seller, especially the big guys, I know you guys have to have some type of a, a large department out there, but at least have some number if you receive the package in error. Um, you can call a number, they can send you out, you know, a ticket or give you some instructions on where to drop it off. I don't mind, uh, you know, to me, I'm not going to open this stuff up and see what's inside. It's not my stuff. I really don't care what it is. I, it's most likely not going to fit me or my lifestyle, you know, and so I'm not even tempted to even try to even do that. I know some people might, you know, consider, you know, suggesting, hey, you should open this stuff up and kept it or gave it to somebody that it doesn't belong to or that, that would appreciate it. But, you know, I'm not going to do that. You know, it's the world is big, you know, karma, you know, I'm a reseller myself and I want to have good energy out there on all the stuff I send out there in the planet. And I don't want this, you know, to basically mess that up. So I'm going to show you guys what's going to happen here. I'm going to get out the car real quick and then I'm going to go around and uh, let me get my, I got to get my mask on, you know, I'm going to go ahead and go inside the store and uh, I'm going to take uh, the packages back. And like I said, I'm going to drop them off at the cashier counter, and let them know that I received them in error. Then hopefully they'll be able to route them back to the warehouse or do whatever it is that they do, you know, and uh, they'll eventually end up at the right home. But I'll check back with you guys in a half a second here. All right, I went ahead and locked my car and uh, I'm headed over to Old Navy right now. You guys can kind of see that. And uh, I got the packages with me. 
I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and drop these off to the cashier and uh, hopefully the line is not gonna be that long. It won't be that inconvenient, but at least it's gonna return back to the you know rightful owner. They can sell it to somebody else. Hang on a second here. I had a question for you. These were shipped to my house and I believe they were part of the person living in the apartment before me. Okay. And they don't belong to me. So can I give them back to you guys? Sure. It's old Navy stuff. Okay. Cool stuff. Cool. All right. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, dropped the stuff off with the assistant manager. So she seemed a little surprised that I uh, was giving the stuff back to her, you know, but she took it and then she went ahead and put it underneath the counter. So I think the best policy for you guys, um, try to be as honest as you can. You know, karma is a biatch, like they say. And uh, I would hate to have something like this, you know, come out my ass at another point in time, you know, so I just went ahead and took those back and uh, hopefully they'll be able to make them, get them back to the warehouse, you know, put them back in inventory, and then they'll be able to find a nice home someplace else. And I'm probably thinking, the lady probably called and said, hey, I never got my packages, they got shipped to the wrong location. And most likely what an old baby did, and what you're gonna find a lot of times with uh, e-commerce sellers that are really, really large, they probably just went ahead and credited back uh, her account or went ahead and offered to send her another one. So that's kind of how these things work, you know, so uh, take care guys. Uh, right now, like I said, it's the end of the uh, of the uh, holiday season. Now, if you guys have been enjoying my content and my videos, please make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe and like this video. And I'll check back with you guys another day with another topic, you know, uh, of the day. Take care guys. Hey guys, thanks for sticking with me all the way to the end of this video. Visit me directly at andrereese.biz. Four things to do, like, follow, subscribe, hit that bell. Stay safe, guys. Lift the glass to freedom. Stay woke and don't get TikTok. Take care. I will see you guys in the next video.